This is Don Gossett. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Welcome to Bull Bible Missions and your radio teacher, Don Gossett. Let's join Don as he shares how to step into a new life and experience the truth and power of bold Bible living. Here's friend and radio teacher, Don Gossett. Thank you, Michael Dell. I continue to share with you about the importance of praying large prayers. Listen to these words written by Reverend Philip Brooks, a man of God. He wrote, Pray the largest prayers. You cannot think a prayer so large that God, in answering it, will not wish you had made it larger. Well, praying large prayers is the Bible principle. Jesus said in Matthew 21, 22, And what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe, you receive them, and you shall have them. And in Mark eleven twenty four, Christ said, that, we, that whatsoever we ask and we believe, we receive, we shall have. So we're praying large prayers in these days, and we have some remarkable testimonies for whom uh, people have received prayer and received wonderful answers to the glory of God. Now I'm sharing in this series of messages, uh, testimonies have come right from this area where I have ministered in British Columbia and Washington State. And I have before me a testimony from a lady from Kelso, Washington, and she writes, Dear Brother Don Gossett, for the glory of God, I take my pen in hand and write my healing testimony. I had osporosis of the bone for many years and also had rheumatoid arthritis. I was at a place where I could not see to read, nor could I hear clearly. My jaws were sore and painful when I would eat. I could not walk except on crutches and then was confined to a wheelchair. You prayed for me in your meeting here in Longview, Washington, and the Lord raised me up, enabled me to walk again without crutches. It's a pleasure to be able to eat again, and my hearing and sight are fine now. I no longer use the wheelchair or the crutches since Christ healed me. I give our Lord the praise and thanks for this great miracle. Well, indeed, it's the Lord to whom we give all praise and glory, because he's the healer, he's the great physician, the same yesterday, today, and forever, praise God. And I have a testimony here from a lady from Coxsila, British Columbia. She writes, Dear Brother Don Gossett, I'm so thankful to Jesus for what he's done for me. For two years I couldn't walk, for I suffered with heart trouble and arthritis. I'd cried for those two years, Oh, Jesus, let me walk again. Then the Lord sent you to ministry in Duncan. You prayed for me, and Jesus did let me walk again, and he has healed me when I was so helpless. He's also healed many of my friends in your uh, prayer ministry. I will praise the Lord all the days of my life for healing me and doing so much for me. Well, thanks be to God. He is the great physician, the unchanging Lord, still move with compassion. And I assure you that he is the one who wants to minister to you. I received this letter from a man from Yuvo, British Columbia. I am a veteran of the U U.S. Army of World War II. While taking basic training at Camp Roberts, California, I was at the infil infiltration course firing live ammunition. An M1 rifle was fired close to my left ear and destroyed my eardrum. For about 17 years, I was unable to hear. I went to the doctor in Sydney, and he told me nothing could be done to restore my hearing. But I praise the Lord, Brother Don Gossett, that you came our way. You prayed for me in the name of Jesus, and instantly the Lord created for me a new eardrum. I thank God I can hear perfectly with my left ear. Also, I had suffered with a bad back. And for six months, this back injury had made it impossible for me to get out of bed without my wife's helping me. The Lord healed that too, and I have no more pain. I've also been blessed with the baptism of the Holy Spirit in your meetings, and I certainly rejoice for all the wonderful things the Lord has done for me. 
Well, this is what we call praying large prayers. And I, again, I refer to those words by uh, Philip Brooks who said, uh, pray the largest prayers. You cannot think a prayer so large that God, in answering it, will not wish you had made it larger. Well, God is an awesome God who hears and answers our prayers. And I rejoice in the goodness of God, the blessing of the Lord that we experience as we pray and God grants answers. And I have a, another uh, testimony from a lady on Vancouver Island. And she writes, Dear Brother Gossett, for seven years, I had lost the hearing in my left ear due to surgery. When you prayed for me in that service, the Lord instantly gave me a new eardrum, and now I can hear wonderfully. Also, you prayed for my heart, the hardening of the arteries and high blood pressure. The Lord really healed me, and it's so good to feel well again after ten years of heart attacks and shortness of breath. I praise the Lord for these healings and thank you for coming to minister to us here on the island. And another testimony that's an example of how God hears and answers prayer. A lady writes, I want to give my testimony to you, Brother Gossett, to the glory of God. I had lost my sense of smell many years ago due to growths in my nose. When you prayed for me, the Lord instantly healed me. I now can smell food, flowers, and so many good things I had missed for years. Then I'd also lost use of my left hand, which was caused by an accident. When you prayed for me, the Lord instantly healed my crippled hand, and I have good use of it now. Well, to God be the glory for the fact that he hears and answers prayer, and these testimonies I've shared with you are evidence that he is the same yesterday today and forever. We have so much in the book, the Bible, to encourage us as to what the Lord is pleased to do as we pray and we look to him for his provision, for his answers. I want to assure you that uh, we are commanded in the scripture about the fact that God wants us to be involved in a ministry of love and compassion for sick and suffering people, that he has given us a commission to go and minister in this way. So I want to assure you that the mighty miracle power of God that we uh, share about is not just for a few people, but the whosoever will can come. And I would say to you personally, pray the largest prayers. Pray the prayers that God will hear and answer. He says, I am the Lord thy God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. And in James chapter 5, he says, The prayer of faith will save the sick, the Lord will raise him up. And if he have committed any sins, they shall be forgiven him. And this is God's way of working, as we pray and he answers, and he manifests his love and grace and his power. So he is the same uh, today as he was then. And, uh, you know, I, I love the statement that Philip Yancey said, there's nothing we can do to make God love us more, and there's nothing we can do to make God love us less. God's love is unconditional. He loves us with an everlasting love, and he loves you today. He loves you that are sick. He loves you that are sin sick, that need a Savior to forgive your sins and cleanse your heart. And I'm rejoicing in the goodness of God that we are experiencing for the lives of so many people. So, God wants you to have this bold faith. Now, when I talk about bold faith, I would like for you to, to simply understand that as a young man, I was fearful, timid, and often defeated. But when I surrendered my life to Christ, he gave me the way with I could be used by him. It was an, a slow uphill climb, all right, to overcome the obstacles that beset my life. But I found answers in the Word of God, Bible principles that helped me and eventually led me to uh, have faith in this God, this great, awesome God to whom we are invited to come boldly to his throne of grace. We may obtain mercy. So I encourage you to pray large prayers. Put no limits on God. We have a sad statement in the book of Psalms where God indicted the people of Israel and said, You have limited the Holy One of Israel. And I appeal to you not to limit the Holy One of Israel. 
but let God manifest his love and grace in your behalf. Every day, blessed letters come telling what God is doing through our ministry of Bold Bible Living, and I spend a great deal of time reading these letters, and they have come from everywhere from all types of people. The letters say, in effect, I needed something from God. I heard your broadcast, I acted upon the words you presented, and this is what the Lord has done for me. They go on and tell of sickness, fear, weakness, wrong spirits that they were bound by, and how these difficulties and oppressions have been conquered in the name of the Lord. Reading these true accounts has been a tremendous experience. I've often shed tears over these letters. We've been delighted as people have borne witness to the glorious power of God in human life. And now I say to you, God is no respect your persons, and I want to have a very special prayer of faith for you that need healing for your body, need deliverance. Father, in Jesus' name, I give you thanks for the privilege of prayer and the privilege of lifting my voice to you, Father. And I come on behalf of every listening friend who is agreeing with me just now. You said in your word, Lord, that where two of you shall agree on earth, as touching anything they ask, it shall be done. So I agree for each one who is agreeing with me for the healing of their afflicted bodies. In Jesus' name, I take authority over the spirits of infirmity, of cancer, diabetes, heart trouble, high blood pressure. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord, that by your stripes, healing for each one, and I thank you for your grace and blessing in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be sure to give God the glory and praise for what he is pleased to do. Honor the shed blood. I've shared many testimonies how people have begun to honor Christ, honor him. God says, them that honor me, I will honor. And when you honor the shed blood of Jesus and begin to say, thank you, Jesus, by your stripes I'm healed. I believe there will be bountiful benefits flooding into your life. Simply take the steps of faith and open your heart and mouth and begin to speak the truths of God's word. And now it comes that time when I say, people, let's take a praise break. Let's break from anxiety, from fear. Let's break from the uncertainty of the future and give God the glory due to his name. Will you unite with me as we lift our voices together? And praise the Lord for 20 golden seconds. Let's say praise the Lord together. Praise the Lord. 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 Hallelujah.